last application of uh, random numbers i'm going to show you one nice uh, system called uh, sandpy and that will show very nice behavior for self organized critical okay idea is the following is a very simple model is by per bag and his team okay so this is uh, 1987 i believe so uh, idea is that uh, you randomly put random numbers between uh, 0 to 3 in a in a square grid okay now between 0 and 3 okay so this is starting point this initial step now randomly drop a sand in this so i randomly drop a sand so if i drop a sand here i will the number of sand so this is supposed to be number of sand okay sand sand particles if i drop it here it will become 1 to 2 this will become 2 if you draw here i drop here i will become it becomes 3 okay but if i drop here then what happens the number of sands become 4 okay the 4 is supposed to be critical okay uh, this side says i am overloaded i cannot take it anymore okay so this this guy uh, sends one sand each uh, one sand to his four neighbors. Okay, so four becomes zero, and you can see the number uh, two has become three, zero has become one, one has become two, and two has become three. Okay, so this uh, four sands have been distributed to neighbors. Okay, now you want to check whether any of the sides. Already, if, if let's imagine this was three, then if the sand comes, then it becomes four, and that will start uh, further avalanche. This is called avalanche. Okay? This whole process is called avalanche. Okay? This avalanche. So this distribution of sand, one each to its neighbors, is one one avalanche. But if any of these guys, I mean, if these were, let's say it was three already, then it will become four, and this will create avalanche. So right now, number of avalanche is one for this because. The number of sand in the neighbors were less than well, were two or less. Okay, uh, I stop here. If uh, avalanche equal to one, then stop. Now I drop another sand. Well, it happens to be dropped at this side. Well, this side here three. Okay, now what does it do? It becomes four, and it's going to be distributing one each to its neighbors. Okay. So there are four neighbors. So uh, this is uh, going to become so zero becomes one. Uh, uh, this three becomes four. This is basically four. Uh, okay, and uh, one becomes two, and uh, this this one becomes two, and this is right now zero. Okay. Now what is what happens to this three has become four? So four will again start uh, uh, toppling so this is toppling event so four will pass one to each so four will pass here and here so uh, in fact it's supposed to be zero so zero becomes one this two becomes three and uh, uh, this uh, zero becomes one and one is outside the boundary okay so four, one is gone so if sand is going outside the boundary then it's lost Okay, so that's it's called dissipation is, is lost. Okay. So number of avalanche here were two, right? First three was became four and it caused toppling. And this four further caused toppling. So the two avalanche here and sand lost is one. Here sand lost was no sorry, sorry, I made a mistake. The three this three uh, sand was dropped here. So bold is uh, dropped here. At this point, the sand was dropped here. Uh, this became three, and this became one, and two sands were dropped, uh, were lost. The one going here, and the, so they lost sand. So I found, I did not notice the, the three. And then at this point, I dropped the sand here. So one sand was dropped here first, then sand was dropped here, then sand was dropped here, and uh, it led to this. Okay. And as soon as the avalanche is over, you again drop a sand. Okay, uh, for illustration in this example, I was dropping a sand when site was three. Well, the height was three. 
Okay, this will illustrate. Otherwise, there will be any avalanche. If I, I drop here, it would be just one plus one two. Okay, only one sand is dropped in this model in per box model. There are variations now. Uh, you can drop two sands at different sites and so on. Okay, so these are variations of the original sand pile model. Now, idea is to just run it for a long time. Okay, and count the number of avalanches. Okay, now that's why. So, this is a, in fact, using recursion is a very good thing to do. And uh, I think due to lack of time, I will not uh, dig deep into this uh, algorithm, but uh, it basically is called update algorithm. Uh, this array A, I, uh, I comma J, where I drop the sand and a number of uh, steps. Each step is kept. So, if IJ equal to 4, uh, sorry, number, number of sand at IJ is 4, then it becomes zero and it drops, I mean, it distributes its four neighbors. Okay. So count will be number of uh, avalanche. Okay. So that is the thing. So if um, I plus one is less than N. Okay. So this is the right neighbor. So this IJ and I plus one is here, right? I plus one comma J is here. If it is not at the edge, then I'll update this site by adding one. And but if you update, then you have to make sure that it doesn't cause further avalanche. Or if it causes, then uh, you uh, you call update again. Okay, so this will they'll update here again. That takes care of uh, a recursive process. So one avalanche can cause more avalanche. So the, the, this code works. Okay, update. Okay, now we do it for all the four neighbors. So this is neighbor two, neighbor three, neighbor four. Okay, and uh, so finally it will give you a count. So this count is keep added. I mean, a count is uh, incremented for each uh, step. Okay, count is a like a global variable. And uh, I do it for a number of steps. Okay, n steps. Now this count is what has the uh, number of launch. Okay, now I make a histogram of the count. So sometimes I get uh, one avalanche, sometimes I get two avalanche, sometimes I get huge number of avalanche. So it's possible to get 2000 avalanche. Okay? So I ran it for a pretty long time and uh, this is 2000 avalanche. So one toppling cost one more toppling, one more toppling, one more toppling and it really cost 2000 avalanche. Okay? So it's like a surprising but yes. Okay. So uh, uh, here, how many events occur with uh, avalanche of uh, 20. Okay. Uh, well, right now I get nothing because I didn't run it for a very, very long time. But with 19 avalanche, I get basically this number 200. Okay. With uh, this is what? I mean, this is uh, uh, avalanche. I, I don't know. I mean, well, avalanche one is more, but, I mean, these there, but uh, like uh, there will be somewhere here. Okay. I want to make a uh, some function which is power log. So log log plot is a straight line. So in fact, ns is goes is s to power minus 2.25 for me. But per I got a different number. That's why I'm a bit surprised. I think we need to run it for longer time or something, but I didn't get uh, this uh, per box number. If you run it for a long time, then you find this uh, this power law. Okay. So this is uh, called uh, power law physics. It's also called power law physics. And um, it turns out uh, people applied this for many, many systems. Earthquakes uh, occur with uh, with the power law. Okay, so if you look at uh, number of earthquakes with energy E versus uh, energy E, so Richter law, no, this is called Richter law. Energy release, energy release. That's the power law. Okay, um, uh, rainfall. So a number of events with uh, rainfall in centimeters. So if you look at Rainfall R in centimeters is the number of events with rainfall. So less rainfall events like one centimeter will be more often, but you can get a rainfall of uh, even 50 centimeters. But there's less likely once in a while. Okay, so that's the power law. Okay, so uh, extreme events these are are less likely, but many event, I mean many things follow power law, but not everything is a power law. Like human height, you're not getting a power law. You're getting a Gaussian. 
these systems require a lot of interactions, nonlinear interactions. Uh, height is uh, not really interaction. Okay? So, uh, if there is strong interaction, then uh, uh, it leads to power loss. Like in uh, solar systems, in inside the, on the in the sun, there are bursts, a number of bursts with certain energy is a power loss. Okay. Uh, in turbulent systems, there are power loss. Okay. So anyway, so I don't want to get into it, but this so this uh, sand pile model is a kind of abstract model for describing power law physics. Okay, now last topic uh, connected to uh, random variables is machine learning. So uh, I'm just giving a brief. Um, some of you probably know machine learning quite well, but uh, people who are not uh, uh, in the field or not exposed, I'm just giving you a two minute uh, introduction. So uh, the idea is that uh, I get random, I mean, get, I, well, uh, I, I'm, okay, this is used in fact in practice in a letter in post office, okay, in US postal office. So uh, the address is now read by computers. Okay, and a lot of delivery is also done by uh, by uh, computer or in income tax uh, uh, forms uh, is computer reads it, uh, handwritten forms. You know, it digitized, of course, no problem. But if it's handwritten, then uh, you need to understand what the number is or what the character is. So idea is to get a lot of samples. So uh, here, uh, 16 people have written these numbers, okay, zeros. So some are written zero like that, some are written that. Blah, 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 blah. So different people write zero in different ways. Okay, um, one has been written by again sixteen uh, people. I, I guess sixteen, right? I, uh, yeah, sixteen people and uh, uh, different ways. So given uh, some, uh, let's say seventeen person writes one, they should be able to recognize one. Okay, this one, not uh, not nine. Okay, so. So similarly, so this is for uh, number zero to nine. So the computer reads these characters and is told, of course, all these are ones. So it learns by either by regression or by machine uh, by neural networks. So all these characters are one. So when it gets a new character, then which is one, then it says, well, uh, it is one. Okay, by learning. So supposedly human beings also learn it this way. I don't know, but uh, yeah. So this is. So it can be done for all characters. In fact, that's what is machine learning is doing right now. So it learns it, then it is okay. After learning it, you need to test the system. Okay. So here there's a lot of randomness is also involved huh? in regression. Um, it's a lot with regression. So uh, so you may have let's say uh, ten thousand characters of zeros. And ones and well, I mean, you'll have 10,000 zeros, 10,001. Overall, you have 10 power 4 numbers or 10 power 5 numbers. Then I'm going to take another, let's say, not so many numbers, but uh, 10,000 numbers to test the system Re is reliable or not. So, this is called test cases. Uh, and this is training set. Training cases, training cases. So you need some data for training, some for testing. And uh, once the testing is passed with certain uh, probability, well, there will be some numbers is not able to recognize, but then you say, well, fine, uh, it's okay. okay. So some errors are allowed, uh, but it should be a very tiny error. Okay. And uh, then you say, well, I'm going to use the system. Depends. If it is not too critical, you can use a system which is which is error of 10 power minus 4. If it's critical, then you, you cannot do that. Okay. And um, that's how uh, things are uh, done. Now, I'm not telling you about any algorithms, but uh, there are many, many clever algorithms. So, right now, uh, speech to text conversion. Okay. So, a lot of this uh, uh, now help uh, desks are computers now. Okay. Or uh, like if you use Alexa or uh, uh, in Amazon or Google uh, voice recognition system, they're all uh, AI. 
so different people speak uh, the in a different ways but it recognizes is the okay youtube is generating subtitles using this okay is by uh, live translation is not stored this subtitles of a movie or uh, uh, some programs a uh, language translation uh, is also done by ai now uh, self driving cars uh, is doing okay supposedly uh, okay i have not seen one but uh, in uh, piloting of aeroplanes uh, machine learning is there but uh, the malaysian aircraft supposedly crashed the boeing machine um, the boeing aircraft because of error in machine learning okay so it's not fully uh, reliable e marketing amazon is using uh, and flipkart all of them are using this the like credit card uh, now if you call for some uh, help uh, is all machine you can't get a human being in the other side weather forecasting we are doing some experiment like fog fog prediction you can use by solving neural networks or using uh, uh, machine learning okay so it records i mean we already have recorded data using that it learns if temperature is in that range uh, when velocity there is that then fog is likely in. so um, using the data this basically is not numerical well it is a different type of numerical analysis scheme is not based on model is based on data okay so this is called data science okay uh, but it's a different course huh? i mean uh, machine learning is a different course okay so thanks i so this is about random numbers and applications i did five well i mean four topics uh, integration regression application stack mech and machine learning